<laughs> look at that mess right that's the deconstructed harness and then i took all these these are my plugs um my i'm sorry fuel injectors this is my fuel injector harness and so kind of let you know kind of what i'm gonna do here a sec so I have, I had went to the junkyard a while back and I got connectors. So hopefully you can see. Okay, yeah, you can see. So this is an eight pin connector. So I use this one for my injectors, okay? So all I'm gonna run through here is the injector signal, okay? And I'll do the same thing with a different connector for the ignition signals. But I have, these I got from the junkyard too. I use one of these for my fan, wiring up my fan. So if I need to disconnect my fan, got it, got the big wires here. So what I'm gonna do here is we have, we're going to have 12 volts that go to things in the engine bay, right? So this will be PCM side. This is engine bay side. So one of these will go to my injectors from the PCM and then to the coil packs from the PCM. Okay. And, um, if I need a third 12 volt, I'll have it. Um, so to the PCM, to the engine, PCM side, engine side. Okay. So I have the bigger wire here because when I splice off, we'll go back, we'll splice off to the normal size harness wire. Um, I know I'm botching it up, but I'm going to make sure everything is connected good and insulated good. Um, so as you see here, put this to the side, I'm not using that yet. So all I'm going to do is right now is run all my signal wires. So here is my, oops, here is my uh, rope that I made, pretend harness. And all I'm going to do is, let's say, what injector is this? This one is F7. Let's try to find F. A one or a two. Here's two. So if we go F2 from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... The end of this tape is the end of the connector. Okay? And so I'll... I'll make sure the camera is on. So the brown white is our ASD, our power, okay? So then I'll take that there and I think I left my blue tape. Oh, here it is. So I'll take this painter's tape. It's just easy to write on and easy to take off. All I'm gonna do is just tape it. And then just to hold it in place and keep it lined up. And then, so we're gonna, we're not gonna do our ASD, but our signal wires, and we're just going to follow this harness. All right. And then, so it's only gonna go to about here. Okay, so that means I need to make up all this distance, right? So this is a brown, dark blue, which you're not gonna be able to see it on the camera. So what I can do is I have a bunch of extra wire outside. I can go find another, what, two feet of brown, dark blue, marry them to get, uh, crimp them together 
and then this will be the end of this eight pin connector here so this will be anyway this will be the end of this connector like that and so I can even go here because I made it a little long so we have slack so if I ever need to test oh shoot you're not even looking at it yeah so here that's the end of that um so we just got to make sure that the harness fits up to there yeah so I may even have like a brown dark blue in here if I do then I'll pin that right and then I'll keep track of what pin goes where just to make sure put a little tape on there but yeah that's kind of how I'm doing I have my ignition one made already and then I'm gonna make separate harnesses so that we can just I don't know why I want to do it that way but we are and then like what we'll do is we'll run the two we'll insulate like so I'll let's say this is the whole eight all eight signal wires right what we'll do is uh they have like a kind of like a heat shrink but thick but a thicker one that'll go down and what I'll do is I'll get one the right size and I'll put it all through the harness so that um, it'll stay protected and then I'll put some like not this stuff um, netted loom you know what I'm talking about it's kind of the mesh I'll put that to make it look nice it'll help with abrasion all that stuff also too is you want to have enough slack and stuff so that it's not like stressed and so you know things can shift and jiggle and move so you got to make sure things aren't stressed got the wiring harness to the fuel injector one to finally be without without its rope attached kind of little pieces everywhere okay so I just did them in layers, right? So this side we have the ground and then, then the 12 volt supply, right? So I ran all my grounds. Um from the from the even side or from the right side and the left side of the engine, even side, odd side. But I even separated, see this bundle here is from driver's side or left side and this bundle up on top with the white, yellow, brown, purple right here. This one right here. That is from the passenger side or right side. Okay. And then I tied those together because each, each bundle is individually wrapped. All my signals are red. I mean, all my grounds. I don't know why I use red. I just started using it and I said, we'll use it. So all my reds are all my grounds to each injector. Um, my blue is tying my 12 volt supply to both sides of the engine grounds. So the blue is everything together. The white it's just um, the power tying tying just the 12 volts together that's the white I did it like that I don't know didn't really need to you can use different colors but I mean you can use all the same color I don't know so this is how it's gonna kind of go right so and then here's where this piece here will go to the left side of the engine which is driver side and then so we have one, three, five, seven, two, four, six, eight plug behind the manifold. It'll go up around the firewall through the sidewall into the cavity in the fender. And then to the PCM. And then it'll 
right here is where we're putting this plug. Our 12 volt supply, which is this guy here, it'll share the plug with the coil 12 volt supply, which is I'm gonna use these bigger ones here. So I'm gonna run, I mean, you don't have to, but maybe it'll help it run a bit more efficient. So these, is, these are 12 gauge here. And then it goes down into, I think, um, 14 gauge to each injector. So it does go down a little bit. So that's it. I'm going to go set it in there. I'm not going to put the plug in. I'm going to make sure everything fits first and then start wiring the plugs. But I'm going to go walk out, put this on, and then I'll show you. All right. So here it is. It's taped in. I mean, it's buckled in, <laughs> clipped in. So here it is, and it goes down here. Right here in the head, there's a, um, a threaded hole where I can put some type of holder there. It goes back behind, underneath the fuel bridge. There's another hole back here. Let's see where my finger is. I can thread in some type of clamp there. Um, then it's going to go up, up and around here. Let's see if I can get it there. You go. It'll go. Yeah, it'll go up and around there. And then you can see back there. here and I'll go through that hole back there and that's where the clip will be so I'm gonna use these as holders and they'll meet up and I'm gonna make them look nice I think I'm gonna use something like oh, let's see Something like these. Using these on my, uh, whoops, for my hoses and lines. I can run the harnesses through, put that on and through there. And they still look good. A little, I mean, I don't know. Still don't know how that part is. But say I have all my heat shrink. I got braided lines. I'll here for the heat. Um, I have, uh, let's see, some other heat shrink stuff for caps, the end for the ends. And here, if I go underneath the manifold with the sensors, I'm going to have to use something like that. Let's see, what else do I have? I'll pipe wrap some more easy loom. So I got another loom, <laughs> I think so, right? But yeah, so I might use those to hold them up. I don't know, we'll see. All right, so that's it on a harness. Now I got to do the ignition side, right? So remember the. The fuel is going to be a separate small harness on its own. It'll have its own plug. Um, I'll be able to take out that harness if I want to by itself. Um, yeah, so that's kind of the goal. All right. And then the initial one will run up, follow that same line, same path all the way back. I don't know what I'm doing with the front sensors. All right, guys. So here's my second harness, the coil harness. So I like how nothing's connected to the fuel injector harness, but it lays exactly on it. So like here, here, and it meets 
good, no tension, it's relaxed. Kind of, you know, and the same thing on this side. This this one's a little long, I guess, but you can come out like that. And it goes. And here's the injector and the coil harness here. Goes back there. So, yeah. I like how it lays, just follows the same path, no stress. So that uh, rope trick is really working. So tomorrow I gotta, I'm gonna do all the sensors. Driver's side, passenger side sensors, knock sensors, crank sensor, front sensors, this. I don't know, I think I might, I might just go through under here. I don't know, we'll see.